All right, this is a video about uh, gens and um, and and uh, the quality of them of of the construction. Um, the bottom sword is is one that um, Master Tony Yang gave to me. Um, it's a sword that he had made for uh, Wudong. Um, it's for uh, Praying Manus Jian and Kuan Wu Jian. The top, the top one is uh, one that I made. Um, and uh, I made that just for basic uh, swordsmanship. Alright, now looking at these handles, the first thing I want you to see is this little nut that's on the end there. That is the telltale sign of a lower quality sword. Okay, we'll get into a couple other things. Um, lack of a collar. This is one piece. One cast piece. Alright. Um, and when we take this handle apart, you'll see the other things. Now, in this sword that I forged up here, the handle is wrapped. There's a piece of iron wood that's on the end. The reason being is this isn't a little rat tail tang screwed in there. This has a big, fat, full tang. Alright. So... One second, and I'll deconstruct. All right, so this is what we're looking at when I say there's a rat tail tang. All right. The tang in this sword is almost as thick as the handle is, and that's why the handle is thicker than the blade. Where if you look at this, the blade is definitely thicker than the handle. So it's letting you know that what's inside of the handle is a lot smaller than what's sticking out. And um, I personally, I don't even put much effort into swinging this sword. I don't trust it, you know. So, anyways... Just wanted to show you guys what, what lays inside of that handle when you see that little nut there. Alright. 